to Beast Magic Tricks. Today I'm going to show you a really awesome magic trick. Uh, it's how to levitate a small object, but before I get into that, um, I just want to say that I'm really trying to do the weekly upload. I'm videotaping or recording videos in advance so I can, even if I don't feel like uh, uploading a video on the day, I always have something to upload, right? So just stay tuned for more videos, and I hope you enjoy them. But anyway, let's get into the trick. So what I'm going to do for this trick is I'm going to take the playing card, all right, and I'm going to hold it right here, and then if I just hold it just like that, and that's how you do the trick. Um, so let's get right into the explanation. Okay, guys, so before this, I have, you might have watched it already. Um, I've showed you how to do, how to levitate objects without strings or gimmicks. And that was kind of a fun little trick to learn. You sort of know how to do it, some people don't. Um, but this one is a bit harder to, um, for people to figure out, is what I'm trying to say. And so I'm just going to go ahead and show you. I don't know if the camera pulls it up, but it is a string. Now this string is super hard to see, even off camera. I promise you, if you wear a dark shirt and you have it in front of you, they're looking this way, there's no way they can see it. I'm going to try, you probably can't see it right there. But these are $10, they come with five, and you get them on this little piece of paper. They're made by Yigol Masika. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's fun to say, really, no matter which way you say it. But it comes with five, and they come on this little yellow piece of paper. I hope the camera pulls it up. I think it's pulling it up right there. Um, they're, uh, they might not look all that big, but they're really stretchy. Alright, and so you get these, you slip them, you can just have them on your wrists, and you're walking around want to show somebody something, and this is the setup for the trick. You take the string, they're called loops, alright? Uh, you take the loop, and you have it wrapped around your hand right there, kind of in the crotch of your thumb, alright? Then you're going to put your other hand in between it like that, so it's going around going around this hand, around that, and back so it's between your it's between both your hands, alright? You're gonna take the card and you're gonna be holding it. Okay? You're gonna have the card above the two ends of string, which is one is right here. I don't know if the camera can pull it up. And one is right here. And you're gonna just hold the string above it and then you're just gonna let go, and it gives the illusion that it is floating or levitating. When you're done, you snatch it, like, you snatch it out of the air. Then I grabbed it, and I rotated like that, and let the string fall on to this wrist, so it's no longer in this hand, and I kind of twirled the card like that, like I was going into a twirl. Alright, and then you can come away with no strings, and if you have it on your hand, there, I promise you... You might be able to see it if you stare intently, but even then, it is very hard to see, and I guarantee you, they will not even notice it. So that's the trick, guys. Um, let me know what you think. I really enjoy doing this. They're fun to do on camera for, like, an Instagram video, short Instagram video, get some likes, or a YouTube video, but I promise you, you can perform this trick live, no one will be any the wiser. Sure, that someone will be like, oh, there's string. But when you finish the trick, there is no string, all right? Okay, so that's the trick, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, I'll be trying my hardest to upload weekly. And thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe and tell me what you think. See you next time.